Welcome back, everyone. We cannot stress it enough. There are so many ways that you can help those in need in both Monroe and Montgomery counties. Joining us this morning is Miss Robin McKinney. She is the Director of Marketing and Communications with the United Way of Northeast Mississippi. Thanks so much for joining us. I know you've <laughs> been here a lot lately, just talking yes. about the different <laughs> efforts y'all been doing. Yes, absolutely. You know, as soon as the storms hit, we knew it was time for us to get on the ground and start helping. That's what we do at United Way. Unfortunately, we We've done this a few times mm -hmm. over the few years, so we just kind of know what we need to do. And right now our big effort is coordinating the volunteer effort that's mm -hmm. coming through. As soon as the storms are over, volunteers flood in from surrounding areas and even other states. And yeah. so we're there to set up and help organize that effort. So our staff is set up at the old armory in Amory. It's on 101 um, 9th South Street in Amory where the Red Cross shelter is set up and we've been receiving volunteers since Sunday well really since Saturday um, but especially since Sunday and helping direct them where they can go to help with debris cleanup and heavy equipment and setting up sites to feed people and all those things that are happening right there in Monroe County. So for now, are y'all just in Monroe County? We are. We're in Monroe County, um, but of course in Amory, in Smithville, in Wren, oh, okay. all the areas affected in Monroe County because oh, wow. that's the major area in our service area that was affected. Yeah. And when you're out, or I know you have volunteers out mm -hmm. in these places, what are they realizing that the need is for these communities? Right now, of course, immediate needs are shelter for people whose homes are uninhabitable. So thankfully the Red Cross is there for that. Food, many people still don't have electricity or water yeah. or the ability to cook. So we have folks coming in to set up food trucks and feeding sites all over. Things like tarps, just getting their roofs tarped, especially if there's more weather coming in to make sure yeah. it doesn't get worse. And and of course moving debris there are still trees on houses and things like that so we have volunteers coming in with heavy equipment who can help with that chainsaws to cut that up and just to get all that debris moved so that people can either get into their homes or get in and try to get some of their belongings mm -hmm. and you can imagine what y'all are seeing not only with the devastation but also with these people what are the reactions you're getting it is so amazing to see the outpouring of support in our community um, one thing that we've seen is you know in 2011 smithville was devastated yeah, by a tornado yeah. so many people from then are coming to volunteer their, with their neighbors mm -hmm. who are being affected now and sharing their stories of what they went through. Um, one of our co-workers brought a church group from his church and he said they went to the home of a National Guard member and they had members of his unit from Tupelo and Corinth oh, who all awesome. came down and were working. So just seeing how many people are coming together, we're seeing colleges like the W yeah. and ICC sending big groups, uh, companies that are sending their employees to go help with the effort instead of coming to work and making money. Yeah. Um, so just seeing that people are coming together and doing that, the homeowners and residents have been so incredibly appreciative. I just heard a story last night of an older woman who was really kind of facing depression, just very yeah. sad, and had a group come through and one of the athletic coaches was able to cheer her up and just get her back on track and it's going to be okay. We're going to get through it. We're going to get people back to where they're be able to live their normal lives. So it's monetary support, it's volunteer work, it's yeah. items, and a lot of it is just that morale boost yeah. that you get from having people come out and help you after something like this. And that is so good to see, and I know it's so good to feel. If you at home want to help out or if you need help, go to WTVA.com. We mm -hmm. have ways that you can get in contact with the United Way and information on where to go. But thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.